thank you, Jerry. Uh, as a uh, fellow Rotarian uh, and a uh, fellow member of your chamber, I appreciate the opportunity that you afforded us to come before you today and to uh, present ourselves as candidates. And I'm here to ask you for your support in this election. Um, a few things that I want to mention. I did grow up here in Wayne County. Uh, my mom I taught school for more than 30 years, and my wife uh, has been an art teacher in Worcester for more than 30 years. So uh, we have a lot of roots here. In uh, the past, I had the opportunity to serve the city of Orville as its mayor for five years. Uh, but more recently, for quite a while, I've had a chance to represent you uh, in the Ohio General Assembly. In 1981, uh, I started uh, that work. But in 2008, I asked myself the question and ultimately decided to run again for the Ohio House of Representatives as that opportunity came about. It, uh, it uh, was for several reasons, and I'm going to mention a couple. First of all, I very much enjoy the work of the legislature trying to solve problems and representing the great people of this county in that effort. Uh, secondly, we have a lot of talent, many new members in the General Assembly, and I've uh, enjoyed and continue to enjoy mentoring them. They're very talented CPAs, business leaders, retired teachers, all kinds of folks. But um, they aren't too familiar with some of the issues we have to deal with and also uh, the work of the legislature. So it makes a great team, I think, to have some experienced members working with those that are new and, and uh, also uh, very concerned about our state. I come with conservative values, and those are how I try to uh, address the issues that we face. And we've had some tough ones. Last year and this year, I've been serving as the chairman of the House Finance and Appropriations Committee, which is 32 members. It's almost as big as the Ohio Senate, which is 33 members. And our work there is, uh, has been a little tough. We had a big budget deficit that came to us, was, uh, needed to be solved, and we, we had to uh, balance the budget with a lot of our partners involved. Our, about three-fourths of our state budget gets transferred out into the community. So they are feeling the pressure of the budget balancing that we did the same as we are. And that, that's been a challenge. But uh, for example, here uh, in Wayne County, a school district's total budget, if you have what they got less last year than the year before, and then this year compared to two years ago, it it's ranges from 2.6% less of their total budget to 6.6% less. So that, that's something they're feeling as an example. And I'm running out of time. I want to thank you for what, you do, what you're doing. Ribbon is a leader in shared services in your schools across this whole state. You should be connected. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. My name is John Mahalo, and I'm uh, running for state representative here in Wayne County. Uh, I'd first like to thank the Ribbon Area Chamber of Commerce and the Ribbon Doylestown uh, Rotary Club for hosting today's uh, event. And, uh, I'm especially glad that you have given us the opportunity, myself and the other candidates, uh, to present to your organizations today. A little bit about myself. I grew up in the county all my life over in Orville, and I graduated from Orville High School. Uh, from there, I continued my education at the University of Akron, where I received my bachelor's degree in political science. While at Akron, Bliss Institute of Applied Politics gave myself the opportunity to work at the Ohio State House in Columbus. In Columbus, I worked for the office of State Senator Jason Wilson. And, uh, while there, I, I helped in the office with day-to-day -day operations, as well as handling concerns and issues of constituents back in our district. Now, we were invited here today to share our vision. And I, I love that word vision, because that's what my campaign is about. It's about creating a new vision for a stronger land county putting the people over politics. I want to focus on things like improving public education, you know, bringing fresh perspectives down in the state house, and working together to try and find new ways to go about that. With the current level of funding we have, in many cases, the quality of education is dependent upon where you were born. And I'm all about living within our means and making sacrifices, but we need to make sure that the children in our communities have the highest standard of education that we can give them. Another thing we want to look at is creating creating and retaining good living wage jobs. You know, going to the companies we have here, finding out you know, whether they're small or large, and, and finding what incentives have kept them here so far, and what's going to keep them here in the future, and, and making sure that we can bring new businesses in the community as we go forward. Another area I would like to look at, 
any of the jobs down in Columbus is, is looking at new job training programs that we can make available in Wayne County here with our education institutions throughout the surrounding areas to give people the opportunity to pursue new careers and uh, keep the ones they have right now. Because, you know, not everyone's meant for higher education. And that's a good thing. We need people in manufacturing and labor jobs. We're the backbone of this country. You know, one thing I learned while I was in Columbus was taking care of the constituency. And there is a sacred covenant between the office owner and the constituents. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. That's what this is all about. You know, I, I, most importantly, I just want the chance to help people on a greater level. Because in our state and here in Wayne County, so many people's lives and concerns and questions that go unheard in their little voice. And I can't promise to change everything, but I can promise that I will be there for you. It doesn't matter who you are or what side of the fence you're on the political scale. Because um, we're all in this together. So I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to speak today, and I look forward to speaking to you afterwards.